guys. This video you did not ask for, but I'm giving it to you. Headed my way to BBC, which is like a local brewery. We got this Uber driver. This guy's a crazy driver, man. This guy, <laughs> we're dodging in and out of traffic. We're here like, bam. Next thing I know, we're here. And uh, I wish I was recording his driving, because man, I'm hanging out on my seat. But uh, yeah, I think we're about to arrive. Take you guys in there, show you some different local beers that they have here. Uh, BBC, it's, it, it's a brewing company that's based out of Bogota, but it's all over Colombia. And so, yeah, I'll see you guys on the inside trying different beers. Shoots. Alright, what up guys? Made it here to BBC. Local brewing company. Uh, it's kind of a big brewing company. Four different beers. I guess they're all named after different parts of Bogota, uh, which is super cool because name of the brewery is BBC uh, Bogota Brewing Company, and they all they all the names are related to Bogota in some way. Uh, this one is a strong ale. It's a Belgian beer. He said it's eight percent, but he's trying to get me wasted early. Um, this one is going to be a stout. It's a British stout. Then we got, all right, these two are both red, uh, red IPAs. So we're gonna try them all, see what we think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to pretend like I know what I'm talking about, but honestly, I'm just drinking this to get fucked up. All right, guys, so we got the four different types of beers. Uh, fun fact, I used to work in a brewery, and so now I'm gonna pretend to act like I know what I'm talking about, even though I have no freaking idea. Um, but yeah, you're gonna watch me get drunk, it should be a great night. <laughs> so let's go for it. Oh, I got a lot actually. It's really flavorful. Full body. Put an adjective subscribe here. I don't know. Just give me the beer. Let me drink it. And you enjoy it. I'm not going to get super, super descriptive. I'm a, I'm a level one Cicerone. You wouldn't believe that though, would you? For those of you know, who know what a Cicerone is, don't watch this video. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a stout. Um, not feeling that. It's, it's actually kind of hot here, so not the right weather for that. Oh, you know what? Give me water to wash it out in between the flavors.
like that red berry malt as well, a little more flavorful though. More, more of the hops, you can taste. You can taste more of the hops in there. Good stuff, I think the strong Belgian ale is my favorite so far. That's also the strongest one, so I'm afraid to drink more of that. White. I'm gonna get the strong ale, the Belgian strong ale. It's called Policarpa. Uh, I need to ask him what the significance of that name is again. What is the significance of the palabra Policarpa? Policarpa. Policarpa. Una heroína nacional. Policarpa se va a la rieta, se llamó ella. Ah, ok. Era como una independizadora. Una luchadora en contra del pueblo. O sea, a favor del pueblo. Ah, ok. Ah, okay. So it's a, it's a, it's a fighter. It's like a, a warrior at Pueblo. He in, in Bogota. No, in Bogota. No, okay. 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 ¿Y mucho tiempo antes o como mm. ahora? Ya te busco exactamente la fecha. Ah, ok, me he visto. <laughs> Tranquilo. Sí, yes, this guy was a... Policapa. Policarpa. It was a, it was a Colombian fighter. Fought for like people's independence, their freedom and stuff, I guess. Anyhow, uh, that's what the beer is named after. And that's what I'm deciding to get. It's also the strongest freaking beer that it gave me 8%. But it, that, was, that was honestly the best tasting one to me, so I gotta go with that. And then uh, probably gonna go get some food. There's a Hooters next door, so I gotta bring you guys along to check out a Colombian Hooters, and we'll go from there. Shoots. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. I guess he fought for the whole country, not just the little, not just the little town. That's what he says. Fue para el 1810, del 1810 al 17. bastante, ya, 1800. Yeah, it was fighter in the 1800s, and uh, that's a long time ago, but cool. How much the history? Pues me regalas un pinta de Policarpa. Gracias. So I'm getting pinta. I think that's like uh, I don't know what a pinta is, <laughs> but it, I think it's the biggest glass you could get without getting like a full pitcher. So I'm gonna get that and drink that. And I'm already feeling good, guys. I'm I'm a lightweight now. I haven't been drinking much, honestly. And with these four samplers, your boy is feeling it. So we're gonna get this last beer for right now. We're gonna go to Hooters, grub down on some wings. Hopefully they're the same as the States. And probably get another beer or two over there and then head back over here later on tonight because it's, it's super quiet right now. I'm like, there's, there's another group of people right over there. Maybe you guys can see them. Uh, but nobody else is in this place. So it's, it's a little quiet and weird from just getting drunk and chilling by myself. I'm having a good time, but you know, I want some more action. So yeah, catch you guys in a bit. Gracias. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. Oh, that's a big beer. This is a rosa tan grande. It's como cuántos? Uh, 570 mililitros. Yo no, yo no sé qué es porque no 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 usamos lo mismo cosas ah, en Estados Unidos. Es, es como una botella y media más o menos. Más ah, una botella y media. Ah, es tan grande. Sí, sí mucho. <laughs> okay. He said it's sí. like a bottle and a half of regular beer. So. That's a lot of freaking business bigger than I thought. This is 8%. See you down the rabbit hole, guys. <laughs> 